Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Wayne and this is a guide to surviving life as we know it. So for this video I want to talk about five different types of teachers and how to deal with them. And this is something that kind of stems from my own personal experience and from things that people have told me. And so if you guys have any other types of teachers that you might want me to cover or that you might be able to cover yourself, leave them down in the comments below and tell us how you deal with them and just give us some new perspectives. The first type of teacher is one I like to call the all-round great teacher. This is a teacher where he or she is really funny, really nice and they're a great teacher and they really know what they're talking about. And this type of teacher, you have to treat them really well and you, you can even try and form a kind of friendship with them as in teacher-student friendship where you tell them that you're, they're a really good teacher and you treat them really well because these are the kind of people that are, are going to be vital to you in school because they're the kind of teachers you can rely on in case you're stuck in your subject. If you're sometimes even with personal problems, teachers can help out because they are trained to do that as well. So if you have one of these types of teachers, make sure you treat them with lots of respect and don't take them for granted. Second teacher is the good person but lazy teacher. So this teacher is the one where they're great fun, you love being in their class, but Say you had an assignment, it'll take them about four weeks to get it back to you. It's a bit of a tricky teacher to deal with because you do like them as a person, but you just are a bit annoyed by how lazy they are. They might be a good teacher, but as I said before, they're not very on top of what they should be doing and it can be quite frustrating for you, especially if say you're trying to get good marks and you need help from them, but they're just not doing their job as quickly as they could be doing it because you do like them and they are a nice person, be nice back to them, don't be rude, or you should never be rude to a teacher regardless, but don't be mean to them or anything like that and just tell them, look, I really need this back in time and kind of just push them along very nicely, just remind them every now and again, oh, have you marked this yet or have you looked at this yet or could you meet with me next week to do this? Just gently nudge them along and especially if they are a good person, they will nine times out of ten take that very well and you'll be able to get out of them what you want to get out of them. Number three is the good person but bad teacher. I think almost all of us could relate to this where we've had a teacher who is really good, really fun, we love being in their class but they can't teach. Whatever subject it is that they have they simply cannot teach it. I don't know why, maybe it's not their main subject, maybe they just can't teach, maybe that's just like something that they can't do but for some reason they're a teacher. I don't know, but this teacher, there is no real solution for it other than you're just going to have to teach yourself. If they are a good person, someone you can talk to and get along with, try talking to them and say, look, I'm kind of struggling to understand you with this or next time could you teach this maybe a bit slower or could you try to teach us more of the term, say for example in science, I know that a problem can be they're using two big terms or their explanations are not the best, so maybe you could ask them, can you explain that a bit differently or could you explain more of the terms that you use? So just be nice to them, that's important here, you've got to be nice to them and they'll most likely be nice to you and just try to talk to them, but if all else fails you might just have to teach yourself the subject, but don't forget that the teacher might be able to help you out more. You might say, oh, I want to do a bit of extra study myself. Could you give me some extra resources? Things like that. And so you can try and get as much help out of them as possible. But again, it might just come down to you having to study it yourself. Number four is the opposite of number one, which is the all-round bad teacher. So this is the kind of person who is mean, who is rude, might even be condescending to people. They can't teach. They are lazy. And I guess... We all probably have had a teacher like that, someone who we really don't like to be in the classroom with. And unfortunately, most of the time you can't do anything about that. You just have to, I guess, deal with it. But what you can do is, in class, just try to get through the lesson. And then at home, teach, like with the previous one, teach it to yourself. And try to just avoid your teacher as much as you can. I know it's not the best piece of advice, but it's really the only thing you can do. The other thing that you could do though, is talk to someone in higher power. So I don't know, maybe your year level coordinator, possibly the principal, 
I'm not sure how you, the structure works in your school, but just think of someone, maybe also the head of a, the subject which they're teaching. Just someone who is in a higher position of power who would be more likely to listen to you as well and just talk to them and say, look, I'm having this problem with this teacher and so forth and so forth. And again, always remember to be respectful because if you're respectful, they'll take what you're saying a lot more seriously as opposed to you just going out there and putting down your teacher and making it sound like you're a bad student. Remember to always be nice because that way people will be more likely to listen to you, especially for people in higher power. They all kind of edge towards the side of the teacher unless you show them, look, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to tell the truth. And chances are you aren't the only kid having a problem with this teacher and maybe they're like, yeah, we've had a lot of problems with this teacher so now we're gonna look into it. So don't be afraid to talk to people because this is one of the most important things I'm gonna say in this video. Teachers are paid to help you. They're paid to teach you. Don't ever forget that. If a teacher, I guess, makes you feel bad for asking help or makes you feel bad for pushing them, that's wrong because you are paying them to help you. Obviously some schools you don't have to pay, but regardless, that's their job. That's what they're there for. They're not there to just sit in the classroom and do nothing for a period. They are there to teach you. They're there to help you and to help you get the best marks you can get. So make sure that they're doing that. And number five is a new teacher. So this is a teacher who's just come in, who maybe have just finished their training as a teacher and you might even be their first class. So what's important to remember with this teacher is that they are pretty impressionable. What I mean by that is they are still pretty new and so most of the time you have to help them out with things. Just put yourself in their shoes. So you've just finished your teacher training, you are now with your first class, there's all these kids in front of you and what would you want? Would you want them to laugh at you and be rude to you and take advantage of your newness or would you rather them help you out and help you become a better teacher? I know some of the best teachers I've had are teachers who are new because they're sometimes more willing to listen to you, they're sometimes more enthusiastic than teachers who've been teaching for a long time and they're very often more, I guess, eager to teach you, which is something I really appreciate in a teacher, someone who wants to teach me. So with these teachers, just help them out, guide them, like if they're not sure about, say if they're new in your school as well, if they're not sure about something at your school, just tell them, teach it to them, show them what it is, because if you can help these teachers, I guess, realize that kids can be really good, that students can be really good, then it also not only affects you, it affects all the students afterwards. Because if you make the teacher bitter, all the students following might have to deal with that bitterness. But if you show them how good students can be, then they'll be more inclined to be, I guess, nicer to other students. So. I hope you guys liked that video, it's something a little bit different but this is the kind of thing I want to do as well, I'm not always philosophical, sometimes I want to bring it back to real life as well and especially because I know I'm, I've just got back to school so this is something I guess pretty fresh in my mind and as I mentioned before if you guys have anything you want to talk about for this topic just leave it in the comments down below and all my social media links will be in the description down below plus also if you could like this video, share it possibly even subscribe, it would be great, and I'll catch you guys later.